Greetings Internet, this is John J. Images and for the year 2022 this internet video channel is focusing on talking about Filipino life through an American Filipino viewpoint or through a California Igorot perspective. Okay, Igorot meaning Highlander or Mountaineer or someone from the boondocks. Alright, let's do this. <clears throat> so this is an article I wrote. You can find it on my website, johnjimages.com, on the blog section. This is entitled Civilization, Culture, Clothing in the Cold Mountains of the Philippines. My first blog article after a long time. American Igorot Views, December 9, 2022. Here goes. The roughly tw second year of my life in the Philippines as an adult is fast approaching. I was born in Baguio City, Philippines, moved away when I was around six years old, and decided to try out life in the Philippines when my parents decided to try to build their retirement home in the Philippines in the Philippines when I was in my early 20s. The genetic lottery has decided that I'll be born in a unique mountain city in a developing nation. To many Filipinos, Baguio City is a major destination. They often call it the summer capital of the Philippines. It is gloriously cold in Baguio City, unlike many parts of the Philippines, which resides at much lower and much hotter elevations. In regards to my ethnicity, my family is from a native mountain tribe and the other cold northern mountains of the Philippines. Therefore, I'm considered an Igorot, which basically translates to the idea of someone from the mountains. Some views on civilization. In a perfect society, one would not be ashamed of where they come from, though the sad reality is the term Igorot was used in a derogatory way. Now it is celebrated and seemingly commercialized. Many people from the Igorot tribes are profiting from showcasing their culture that was once hidden in the not-so-distant past for fear of being mocked by the other Filipinos from the more quote-unquote civilized lowlands. You can glance at Europe or America and see how they perceive people from the highlands or the mountainous regions as different. The people from the boondocks. Sometimes they were praised for their strength in being able to deal with the challenging mountain terrain. The many other times it seems like they were treated as something like second-class citizens. The terms Igorot, Cordilleran, and Highlander are often associated with each other. The point is, they are natives from the mountains, which are very different from other parts of the Philippines. Further on civilization, it is exponentially easier to develop in the lowlands because of the easy transportation, especially if the civilization has access to rivers, which act as ancient highways way before cars were thought of. Take a look at the major civilizations of the past. Take a look at the civilizations and cities in the present. Even though we have cars, motorcycles, trucks, airplanes, helicopters, heavy equipment with all sorts of names, the reality is it is still extremely challenging to develop a major city in a rugged mountainous region. Especially if the mountain range faces a brutal amount of rain, earthquakes, mold, mildew, landslides, and other challenges associated with the brutal highlands. So as time passes by, you would be able to see by varying degrees why the lowlands or flatlands would be able to develop centers of commercial areas and businesses easier and faster than the rugged highlands. That sometime or another, the people with money realize or already know how beautiful the wild mountains can be. Therefore, they build their houses in the terrain in the face of merciless weather. The mountains of the Cordilleras in the Philippines are dramatic, demanding, and without mercy. Build a house, though prepare to defend it against its rainy climate and many creatures that will attempt to convert it back into organic matter. Little on culture. I really hate stereotypes, though there are some common views on how the people of Baguio City are viewed, the Igorots. The cold highlands throughout the world are not known for being the most friendly, especially in comparison to most smiley, tropical, typical cultures. The cold mountains are already hard to deal with, so emotional and mental resources are often reserved for other occasions or for other friends that they deem worthwhile using precious energy to talk to. It was only after a while of living in Baguio City as to why I realized why my dad was so quiet in comparison to my very talkative mom. My dad is from the highlands. On the other hand, a lot of my mom's culture and genetics is from the lowlands. The point is, Highlanders or Igorots are not as tropical, super friendly feeling people unlike their lowland counterparts in the rest of the Philippines. Though, Q 
keep in mind, some of these are mere cultural stereotypes and generalizations. Personally, I am somewhat loud and relatively friendly. I, without a doubt, do not have a typical shy or conservative Igorot personality. Some other stereotypes in regards to Igorots is that they do not dress fancy even though they may be successful business owners. Quick notes on clothing. Again, I hate stereotypes. I am Igorot, yet I am relatively loud, friendly, and I put in a lot of effort into how I dress, especially because I am a clothing enthusiast that has a sizable collection of jackets and cotton garments. Quick side note, I added to my collection a jean jacket to blend in with my fellow Igorots around me though. Sometimes I blend in, sometimes I don't. So to sum it up, Igorots are typically conservative, not super friendly unlike the tropics, shy, quiet, don't dress fancy, especially when compared to the lowlanders, and like to wear denim jackets. Though I am living proof that stereotypes are mere stereotypes. I am Igorot, though I do not have a lot of the stereotypes that are placed on my mountain people. I am Filipino. I am Igorot. I am from abroad. I am American. I am American Igorot. Though at the end of the day, it only matters so much. We are all humans after all. Whether you come from the resource-rich lowlands or the rugged, brutal boondocks. Humans and civilizations are some of the most fascinating things to think about and write on. I wanted to get these thoughts off my chest and finally onto my content. If you'd like to learn more about what I've learned about living in the Philippines through an international viewpoint, consider checking out my YouTube channel. Many more articles and videos will be released soon. It's been way too long since my last article slash video in regards to travel and culture. So there you go. After a long time, I finally did it. So blog article is up. I gotta uh, maybe put in a little bit of uh, grammar corrections here and there, though it's up on the website. So in regards to the channel update, um, the year 2022 is coming to a close. It came extremely fast. I am still shocked by how fast 2022 has passed. Though it is what it is. So looking into 2023. Um, I think 2022 was a year of a lot of experimentations. And 2023, the competition for watch time and subscribers is a lot higher now. So it's a bright future. And it's also a very bright, rugged, mountainous future, I think. So yeah, thanks. Uh, thank you to the uh, approximately 100 subscribers that have decided to subscribe to the channel. I hope this information is helpful or useful to you, especially if you're when you're considering traveling to the northern Philippines. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. And in 2023, I plan to put out more polished videos. If you actually look back on some of my previous videos, I had some really nice cinematic polished videos. But at this point in time, I'm realizing that stories are what really matter more. And pretty pictures are pretty pictures, but it's what stories that matter. And my English is deteriorating. <laughs> Anyways, thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the 100 subscribers. I hope to grow this channel. And we'll see what the future holds. A very rugged and mountainous future indeed.